back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for watching. So today I have another vegan empties for you guys. It piled up. It's what happens. I will link below the previous videos I've done. They're all in a playlist for you guys. I think we're on number like 21 now. I've got quite a few. So I hope you guys still really enjoy these. If you do, please give it a thumbs up and that way I know and I will continue to collect my trash. <laughs> Real quick, since I thought it would be fitting, and I figure a lot of you may be vegan yourself if you are watching this video, I just would like to say I am now selling these vegan necklaces on my website. All of it will be linked below if you're interested at all. And I'll also be getting some new inventory in very, very soon. Anyway, just throwing that out there for you guys. Let's get into it. So first item is actually this Amy's Pad Thai. I just had this last night. I got it over the weekend at Whole Foods and I actually really, really enjoyed it. Now, is it the best food for you? No, <laughs> but it is vegan and it is a quick meal. This was my dinner last night and that was great, you know, very, very fast. And it's a dairy-free, gluten-free, vegan pad thai. Now, just if you are interested at all, I will give you like kind of the nutrition on it. So this will feed one and it's 400 calories. Total fat is nine grams. Uh, fiber is three. Sodium is a little high at 760. It's pretty expected in these types of meals. And the sugar is 28 grams. So the sugar is kind of what got me the most on this of like, Oh, <laughs> so this is definitely kind of just one of those once in a while meals, but I did enjoy it and I would get it again, just again to have in your freezer for those times. <laughs> but I did like it. Let me know if you've tried any of these things too as we go and what you think of them, if you agree or disagree. It's all a matter sometimes of just our own personal preference, but it's good to kind of get some feedback from different perspectives. Okay guys, this is kind of comical because I also just got this over the weekend at Whole Foods and it's a 365 brand, um, the breaded chickenless nuggets. Now what's funny is I can't give you much of a review because the truth is I didn't eat these. I would have, but my kiddo ate them all. Like literally ate them all, which I'm thrilled because that's really why I bought them though, is our kiddo is not fully vegan like Nate and I are, but it's something that we are definitely gradually still transitioning with for him and just always trying different new things, see what he does and doesn't like. He's primarily vegetarian though, but not fully vegan. Cheese is a tough one. That's the truth. Um, but he loved these and I was so, so glad. Now I did prepare them for him and I will say they do look like your normal chicken nuggets. He did not question it <laughs> and he really liked them. Now the only kind of bummer part is this lasted two meals. Let's see what the serving is. Five. Look, he's a growing boy. <laughs> but I wish that this would like come in like bigger bags. That's such a like complaint I have of, you know, vegan friendly foods. You know, sometimes you can go to Costco and they have these big, big bags of chicken nuggets, but they don't ever carry that in like the non chicken nuggets, like the meatless kind. Do you know what I'm saying? And so it's kind of a bummer, but I'm so glad he liked these. I would definitely get them again. They're, any of these types of meats, meats are definitely more, you know, affordable too, because they're not real. And um, so that was cool, and I'm glad he really liked them. So kid approved. <laughs> Guys, I know I've included these Mary's crackers before in the past. I know I have, and I always raved about them. I believe that I've always liked them. I don't know what it was, and maybe we got like a bad batch this time, but the funny part is we had those a lot last year, a lot, and with dipping in hummus, good to go. And then we kind of got away from it for a long time where we just kind of were like sick of them, I think. And I finally got another box of them for Easter for my mom, and these are the herb flavored ones, and I opened these up and I ate one and I went, ugh. I just did not like them. I'm wondering if it really was just kind of a bad box or if my taste buds have changed. I don't know, but I didn't love these ones anymore and it kind of freaked me out. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think of Mary's Crackers. Is it still your thing? Because I've been around a while now too. I still want to like recommend them to you if you've never tried them, 
but because I know I used to love them <laughs> but I don't know this last time that just wasn't doing it for me but I will say if you are new to them definitely eat them with like a dip hummus preferably um, is what I used to like a lot and it just these are very dry and it just they taste much better that way but that was kind of a weird one I tried out I showed this on a vlog this Amy's chili it's the black bean low fat medium spice chili I really enjoyed this this was really really good it really was just like chunks of black beans in like a chili type sauce very very simple it wasn't like fancy there wasn't a lot to it but I liked it it was good and I just put a little bit of avocado and dip some bread in it good to go so I would definitely get this again just again to have like on hand hopefully you guys can see this this is a bag of that tandoori naan from Trader Joe's and my husband really really likes this naan bread and I did get a message from one of you saying to toast it that it's very very good toasted and you know what I think he does when he's home but sometimes he'll just take this to work with him like a piece in a bag and he'll just dip it again in, like hummus or something and he really really likes it very very similar to like a pita bread very good Trader Joe's now sells the dried black beans and which is great and they're organic as well definitely more bang for your buck by doing it this way and I showed a recipe um, on ooh, what was it the like taco Tuesday bowl I think I did I showed how you can make these with like a blend in rice in your instant pot now whether you do the rice part or not you can just do these in your instant pot too no doubt you get more than what you get in a can and again more cost-effective for sure but to be completely honest even though the instant pot is simple obviously it's so simple I'm still probably just gonna buy it in the cans because I'm lazy I guess I mean I don't feel like I'm really lazy but there's certain things I've told you this before that even olives I typically always buy sliced olives already in the can because I don't feel like slicing them although I spend so much time slicing all kinds of other things but I don't want to slice olives I don't know <laughs> so that's my only thing with it they were good they really were good and if you are someone who does like to do dried beans and make a big batch of them I would definitely recommend it very cost-effective too guys I finished these in a hurry you guys know if you've been following me for a while matcha green tea is like a newer thing to me and I finally picked this up a couple weeks ago and as soon as I tried it I literally like got through them all like I had like two a day delicious I love it it's so yummy and I wish I would have like done it sooner now with that said I actually these are from Trader Joe's the single serving packets you get seven of them so basically one for each day of the week but recently I just got a package sent to me I showed it on my last vlog if you want to check that out and I'll link it below too because I have a coupon code for 15% off from the matcha reserve and they sell um, like their standard like organic matcha and a little like tin cans then they also have flavored matcha guys when I did the vlog I hadn't tasted the chocolate one that I had yet we had it last night oh my gosh like even Nate was like yeah that is amazing it's amazing and it tastes like a hot chocolate it's like that's matcha what it's crazy anyway check out their site if you are interested if you're a matcha lover too you'll love it so yummy <laughs> but I would definitely get these again but now that I have those other ones I mean you can't really beat it and now that I can compare it I will say the flavor was very very good here but I will say the ones from the matcha reserve I do feel like um, dissolve a little bit better than this one um, when you make matcha you put like a little bit of hot water with your you know powdered matcha and you kind of whisk that in and then add the rest of your water that way it all dissolves as best as it can and I just feel like this one didn't do it as well but it was still really good I finished up a Trader Joe's peanut butter this is the creamy salted peanut butter the Valencia one they call it, it has a little elephant on it <laughs> and we love peanut butter it's delicious and you know for me guys I've mentioned this before because on the almond butter from Trader Joe's I also get the salted one and if you again have been following us you know that we really try to watch our salt intake and we keep that pretty minimum um, if we can wherever we can we always get like the no salt version 
but on nut butters and peanut butters and all that, I feel like the sodium content of it, like this one here is only 40 milligrams. I don't feel like that's that crazy. And to me, it does make a world of difference in the way that it tastes that I always splurge. If you want to call it a splurge, that's what I do. And I love getting the salted ones, but just throwing that out there that they're really not that bad in nut butters as far as the salt goes. And we really enjoyed this. Now it's funny because to be completely honest, we were the type that literally bought like Jif and Skippy and all the ones that are, you know, taste really good but aren't the best for you, but we liked them. They were good. And we never really got into the true like natural, more natural type. And Nate especially, he was really, really picky with it. And truth is he still likes those, but we both acquired a taste for sure for the more natural kind now. We love them, they're delicious. And for me personally, I prefer these now. So just throwing that out there, if you're someone who like has always eaten the more traditional kind, give this a shot. It is really, really yummy and tastes very good. It's just, it tastes like it should. <laughs> it tastes like peanuts. <laughs> and oh, I just love oh, the smell, <laughs> it's so good. But yeah, anyway, just thought I'd show you guys that one. I finished up and I actually do already have backup in the fridge of this Kiko Man uh, teriyaki sauce, the garlic and green onion one. This is delicious. I love to have this when I make like a very simple lunch of like zucchini and rice and I like to just dip my zucchini into this. The sodium on this is not great. One tablespoon is the serving, which is 300 milligrams. That's not great, it's not. But I really do use very, very little. I never use this really as like my sauce, like with cooking with it, because I feel like that's when you can get very heavy handed and not realize how much you actually added. Just throwing that out there, maybe try like not actually adding your sauce to cook with unless you truly measure it out. But I just like to have this off to the side and just dip a little bit, just to get that little bit. And that works for me. <laughs> and this is so yummy, it has great, great flavor, and it has like chunks of green onion in it. Good stuff. I actually still have a few of these left, um, but I did have quite a few of them. It's the organic Moroccan mint green tea from Trader Joe's, and you get 20 tea bags in here. Very, very yummy. It definitely has that green tea flavor with a big kick of mint, kind of like a spearmint gum. It's really, really good. I really like this. Now I'm more into the matcha. <laughs> so I have a feeling like I'm gonna be on a matcha kick for a while, but this was good and I would definitely recommend it. Last item, I actually just got the lid to it for you guys to show you. This is from Trader Joe's and it is their vegan cream cheese. Now what's funny is I think they've carried this for a long time, but I am new to this. This was our very first time even trying it. I didn't realize that uh, Trader Joe's carried it. In my mind, this would have been over by like the milks and yogurts, and I don't know why I thought that, but yeah, like sour cream too would be over there, and they don't have a vegan sour cream yet anyway at Trader Joe's, but no, this is over by like the cheeses, and I just never really looked there for it, I don't know. So anyway, it is there, it is offered, and personally, I really enjoyed it. Um, this is just a plain one. I don't think they have a flavored one, I don't think, but I liked this. Now this is something though that like, with that said, we don't have that often. This was more of like, if we were craving bagels and we were gonna buy bagels that week, this was good. But it's not something that we really have all the time. But I liked it, I did. Cream cheese is tough though. Um, I know a lot of people either love or hate the ones that they've tried that are vegan, and I totally get it. The Kite Hill one I think is personally the best, but even still, I think more of their like flavored one, I think it's like the chive one that I think is the best, has the most flavor, but still, I gotta be honest, at the end of the day, they don't really taste like true cream cheese, but they try, <laughs> and I appreciate that. But anyway guys, that is gonna do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And again, please give it a thumbs up if you did. And I think that's gonna do it. Hope you guys have a great, great day. And I will see you guys very, very soon.